Today is November the 18th, 2023. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster updates. There's no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today, but of course, uh, you know, two minutes after I uploaded yesterday's daily update, I opened Twitter and I see that The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered got announced. Now, this is the part where we all laugh because uh, around here we make fun of Naughty Dog for their incompetence and laziness. Um, so let's, let's go ahead and just get into that, shall we? So, basically, they are re-releasing The Last of Us Part 2, a game that already got a PS5 patch to make it run in 60 FPS and increase the quality of everything. Overall, just make the game run a bit smoother. So they are going to sell people either A, a brand new game for probably $70, or B, make you, up, make you spend $10 to upgrade to the PS5 version for a game with graphics that look the exact same same there is there was a side by side done by uh, that was uh, shown to me by Yaram in the discord it looks the exact same it looks in some of the comparisons I saw I'd say the PS4 version looks better <laughs> or like the, the PS4 version with the PS5 patch looks better like it, it, it I don't get it I don't get it and Naughty Dog is gonna pat themselves on the bat for this and go jerk off to how to their brilliance bro they will do it I know they will Naughty Dog is the most amazing developer I've ever seen because they they do nothing and they get rewarded for it it's amazing I've never seen anything like it before there are two very distinct camps on this I have seen people who say this is a waste why would I ever buy this and it is, the, of course, the Naughty Dog Stockholm Syndrome people who say, This is a huge W! I can't wait for this! Like, these people see new Last of Us content and get so excited because in the in the in what they're selling you for the remaster, right? Part of the whole marketing pitch is lost levels. Early development levels in the remaster that you get to explore. That's right. You heard me correctly. <laughs> they couldn't even be bothered to finish these levels and maybe release them as like just some sort of content for like the community, the Last of Us community to do like as a some late game content. You know, put some shamblers in there, put some bloaters in there, put like mix a lot of different enemy types in there. You know, get creative with it. Make something really, really interesting for the community to try and tackle. You have to be really good and understand this game's mechanics to beat these levels. But from what I can tell, it's just a le it's just an empty level with NPC standing around. This is their marketing pitch for this game. <laughs> It's, it's literally as Yaram said before in a comment. Naughty Dog is somehow less creative than Disney. I don't know how they've how they've come to this, but I'm amazed. Because people keep falling for it. Like, it's literally as he said. They are so creatively tapped for ideas that they can't even be bothered to release a billion sequels of The Last of Us with just minor changes. They just re-release or re- like, yeah, they just redo the same two products over and over and over again. I can't wait for The Last of Us, uh, like, manga to come next year. Like, they'll, they'll think of something like that. They'll do something crazy. Oh my god, bro. I am floored by the stupidity of Naughty Dog every single day. Like, I think it's hit its cap, and then it just... It goes to new heights. They take mediocrity to new heights, bro. It's crazy. Also, apparently, Neil Cockman is getting, like, some award for something... I, like what? How, how to get carried by everyone for the beginning of your career and then hang around long past your prime? For those of you that don't know, Neil Druckmann didn't have a ton to do with the first Last of Us game, but he did have something to do with the DLC. A DLC that I didn't like that much. Uh, and then he had everything to do with the second one. A game I didn't like very much. So, uh, he, he should be given an award for how to... Uh, had to be carried in the earlier parts of his career, and then, I guess not earlier parts, but in the prime of his career, had to be carried, and then hang around after that. That should be what the award is for, not for pushing the industry forward. Neil Druckmann doesn't do anything, I swear. Anyways, and, <laughs> rant over. The rant is over. I, I'm, I'm amazed at Naughty Dog, truly they're an inspiration to all. Uh, side thing, I got the Platinum Eliza P today. Great game. I'll put the review for that and Spider-Man 2 up sometime in the next couple weeks. Probably Spider-Man 2 at the start of the week. Eliza P in the next week. Uh, Bloodborne stream will be sometime at the start of next week. We'll be doing Blood Level 4. Uh, very excited. Pichu will be in chat. Uh, stop by for that if you're interested. Anyways, that's enough ranting. I just gotta get the nonsense off my chest for Naughty Dog because I'm amazed 
at how stupid they are. It's amazing. I swear. But anyways, that's about it. There's no news on a Bloodborne remaster today. That's been your daily Bloodborne remaster update for November the 18th, 2023.